His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, in which he congratulated him on promoting His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud as Crown Prince and appointing him as Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country and contributing to its progress and prosperity. His Majesty wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today held a telephone call with His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, congratulating him for being chosen as Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and being appointed Deputy Premier and Defense Minister. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman every success in serving his country and enhancing its progress under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He voiced a deep pride in the long-standing Bahraini-Saudi relations and expressed keenness to bolster bilateral ties in all fields for the common interests of the two brotherly countries. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments. He lauded the advanced level of the Bahraini-Saudi relations, wishing Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he congratulated him on being promoted to the new Saudi Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness his Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, in which he congratulated him on promoting His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud as Crown Prince, and appointing him as Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country and contributing to its progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people development and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman in which he congratulated him on being promoted as the new Saudi Crown Prince and appointed as Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular stipulating a three-day official holiday on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr. The Kingdom's ministries, governmental directorates and institutions will close on the first day of Eid al-Fitr and the two days immediately following it. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, in which he congratulated him on promoting His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud as Crown Prince and appointing him as Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country and contributing to its progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people, development and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman in which he congratulated him on being promoted as the new Saudi Crown Prince and appointed as Deputy Prime Minister, wishing him success in serving his country under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited last night Bahrain's Royal Guard. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Zagar Al Naimi, the Royal Guard Commander, Brigadier His Highness, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the commitment of Bahrain's brave forces and their loyalty to His Majesty and the country. The Crown Prince also praised the Bahraini forces' contribution to Operations Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope as part of the Saudi-led Arab coalition in Yemen.
the musical band played the national anthem, then the military parade greeted His Royal Highness and verses from the Holy Quran were recited. The Royal Guard Commander Brigadier His Highness Sheikh Nasser delivered a speech during the visit in which he highlighted the Royal Guard's pride in honouring the Force of Duty 11 Group, which has recently returned from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's northern border with Yemen, where it played a vital role within the Saudi-led coalition. He honoured those who gave their lives in the service of the Kingdom of Bahrain on behalf of His Majesty the King. His Highness added that it is true that there are hypocrites who have sought to deceive the Kingdom and allied themselves with external forces against people in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and the Arab world in order to destabilize and divide the region. His Highness also said under the leadership and command of His Majesty the King, the Bahrain Defense Force stands with dignity, courage and honor in defense of the Kingdom of Bahrain. حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى وإلى سموكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم وفي هذه الأيام المباركة لما العشر الأواخر في هذا الشهر الفضيل خالص الدعاء وأسهل الله العظيم رب العرش العظيم أن يحفظكم للبحرين وللأمة العربية والإسلامية وأن يجنب بلادنا كل مكروه وأن يرحم شهدائنا الأبرار والمجد والخلود لهم وإلى كل من ضحى للوطن وقدم لأجل الوطن سيدي صاحب السمو قال الله تعالى إن المنافقين يخادعون الله وهو خادعهم صدق الله العظيم سيدي ها هم المنافقين المتآمرين الذين حاكوا ونسجوا المؤامرات مع العملاء الإرهابيين ضد مملكتنا الغالية وتحالفوا مع الصفويين ضد شقائنا في المملكة العربية السعودية والإمارات العربية المتحدة وضد دولنا العربية سعيا منهم لجلب الدمار وتفريق الأمة يقعون في شر أعمالهم وتتحطم كل مؤامراتهم الشيطانية وآمالهم العدوانية ومصداقيتهم الزائفة وكان الله جلت قدرته لهم بالمرصاد وها هم رجالكم البواسل في قوة الدفاع الذين نذروا أرواحهم للدفاع عن الوطن ونذروا أنفسهم لمساندة الأشقاء في الذود عن الدين والعروبة ووحدة الصف يقفون بكل شموخ وعزة وكبرياء في ميادين الكرامة والشجاعة والشرف يتربصون بالأعداء لإعلاء كلمة الحق معاهدين الله ومعاهدين سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة بأن يكون الحصن المنيع والدرع الواقي لحماية مملكتنا ضد كل من يريد بوطننا سوء وأننا جميعا في خندق واحد نقف خلف القيادة المظفرة لسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة وتحت أمرته ورهن إشارته حفظكم الله وسدد على طريق الخير خطاكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
Also during the visit, the Crown Prince presented the military medals awarded by His Majesty the King to the officers, non-commissioned officers and personnel of the BDF Special Operations Force Task Force 11 in recognition of their dedicated service in Yemen.
Japan's Royal Highness viewed the Royal Guard military competitions, during which military personnel demonstrated their fitness and abilities to demonstrate their combat readiness. The winners were congratulated and honoured, receiving awards from the Crown Prince. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs issued a statement today in which it condemned the terrorist bombing which targeted a police patrol in Al-Jaraz village that left one officer dead and many others injured while they were performing their duty. The council also denounced the terrorist attacks and crimes that took the lives of many innocent people, expressing sincere condolences to the families of the victims and wishing the speedy with injured speedy recovery. It also expressed its concerns about the high level of terrorism that threatens the security and stability of the world, adding that terrorism knows no faith nor doctrine. 
the Minister of Education, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, headed the board's 12th meeting in which he congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, University of Bahrain Supreme Chairman, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the approach of Eid al-Fitr, wishing them many happy returns. He hailed the wise leadership support to the educational march in the kingdom. The board's chairman and members congratulated the chairman of the university and all the members of the academic and administrative authorities on earning the local academic accreditation certificate, affirming that the achievement was a result of the university's efforts. The board directed the university's administration to prepare a study of introducing master's degree programs in science and health sciences. Following the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's directives to distribute 4,200 4, housing units in all governorates, the Ministry of Housing announced the completion of distributing the last batch of East Head Project housing units. The Ministry affirmed that it has, it has exerted tremendous efforts in the past two months and a half to implement the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, affirming that it is precisely following the housing plan supported by His Majesty the King. It's added that the project was among the projects covered in the Housing Ministry's plan to build 25,000 units before 2018 as part of the government's pledge to provide social housing to meet the needs of the citizens. The Ministry affirmed that the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the sustainability of housing projects and urban development are among its top priorities. For their part, the citizens expressed thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership and government for its continuous efforts to answer their needs. The Royal Police Academy signed today a memorandum of understanding with Labour Fund Temkin, in which Temkin will fund youth programs through the summer camp held by the Academy in accordance with the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to implement the principles of community partnership. The MOU was signed by Chief of Public Security General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan and Chief Executive Officer of Tefkin, Dr. Ibrahim. Mohammed Janahi. It aims at enhancing cooperation between the Ministry of Interior and Temkin in order to enhance the values of patriotism. According to the MOU, Temkin will provide financial support to create programs for the youth, while the Ministry of Interior will be held responsible for the administrative and technological aspects. It is anticipated that the number of participants in the camp will exceed 1,000. Chief of Public Security affirmed that the program continues to develop in order to train and benefit the youth. For his part, the Chief Executive Officer of Temkin expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his support to the youth movement in the kingdom and stressed the importance of concerted efforts in developing youth skills.